Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Chuck kk 6 usy for Ham Radio Adventures. Do you guys hate setting up a bunch of guy lines when you're setting up your inverted V? Well, I do. I don't like to spend the time. Uh, sometimes I only have an hour or two. So today I'm gonna show you how I like to set it up and I think you're gonna like it too. In the past, I've done videos on how to uh, put PVC and stuff like that inside your, uh, your mast, for your antenna mast, and uh, it worked pretty good. But recently, in the last six months, eight months, maybe a year, I forget how long I've had it now, but I got a 3D printer, and I'm just like amazed at the things that you can do with a 3D printer for ham radio. So the other day I was just thinking up, uh, why can't I make something to go inside the mast to hold it very sturdy and not have to use guy lines. And if you do use guy lines, when you do an inverted V, your wires can actually be some of your guy lines for you. You won't need it with this as long as the soil is pretty good. Now if you're in sandy areas, you might want to adapt to some type of a screw type of a uh, holder. I don't know how you do it, but uh, who knows? You guys are inventive. That's what ham, ham radio is about, right? So stick with me today. We're gonna, I'm gonna go through and show you how to do this. Now these may be available from Coffee and Ham Radio site eventually. Uh, the big thing is shipping is so expensive these days that uh, I don't know what we charge for it. Uh, but any of you guys that have 3D printers and have messed with any kind of like Tinkercad or anything like that, it's two measurements. You guys can make it yourself, no big deal. Uh, I did put the cap on. I, I, I did make a cap for the top, and the only thing the cap really is for is sometimes if the ground's not too hard, you can use it to push down so you don't really hurt your hand pushing the uh, stake down, but mainly just to keep all the inside uh, elements of the pole from falling down. That's it. So let's check it out. I think you guys will like this, and it makes it really easy. All right, so these are the pucks that I... Uh... I designed it's nothing to it just a couple of donuts um, but I did this on Tinkercad if you like I said if you do Tinkercad it's super easy all you have you need the two measurements the outside and the inside diameters all right and then I did the cap and you don't really need the cap it gives you a third point on the um, on the stake and the reason I did the cap is because now up here when you, because because this fits the inside of the biggest one, all the other ones will sit on top of this, and they won't fall down the stake. Uh, doesn't matter. I mean, tell you the truth, if you if you put one of these at the top, they will kind of do the same thing. But uh, I didn't want it hitting the the, me the metal of the spike. Okay. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take take these things and just slide them on here. They fit pretty tight. Okay, so six to eight inches from the bottom, somewhere in the middle for the second one. And this this one here, and I wouldn't push real hard on this. All you need to do is to get it to set up there, because I didn't I didn't make it real thick. And then that goes on the top. Okay, now when I push it in the ground, this right here, you know, six to eight inches. Usually that's enough, depending on the ground. Then I'll push, if I, if I can't quite get it all the way in, if like, in, in fact, do not, do not hit this with a hammer, okay? And you gotta be really careful with the top. If you take the top and you hit it on the side and make it, you know, flatten out, then this won't fit. So a rubber hammer uh, or one of those hammers that uh, a dead blow hammer or something like that, or a piece of wood on top, okay? So what I will do though, so I'll take this and then I'll push this right against the ground. And if, when it, if say the ground, I can only get it to here, then I'll push this down to the ground. And that actually does give it a little bit of side to side uh, stability also. I think you guys will really like this uh, and I'll show you how fast it takes. And I'll, I will, I'll do a real time on setting up mast. And uh, the, the worst thing you gotta do is you, is you need to make sure you get this as plumb or as straight up and down as you can. All right. So that's all there is to it. Nothing, nothing much. Um, simple idea. I used to do those PVC, and then I had to tape around to get the fit right. And now I don't have to do any of that stuff. There's just a little bit of play, so this goes in nice and easy. 
and uh, it's rock solid. All right. That way you can ham harder. All right. Let me uh, get you out into the yard and we'll check this out. Okay. So here we go. Um, hopefully you guys can see this or hear me. I do have my microphone on, so it should be okay. So I'm going to stick this in the ground. Well, I'm just going to lift up the mast, so not the antenna or anything like that. So here we go. We're going to take this, and like I said, my ground is pretty soft. I'm just going to push it in. Try to eye it, see how straight it is. Push that down to there. Now, I do, I do like to pull the first one out. Because on this pole, I don't have anything hooked to it like I should. Okay, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this off here. Put my hand over it before I put it down. Put it on top of the top one here. Put it straight down. Okay. Okay, then we're going to pull up. I just wouldn't be quite as fast with a uh, antenna going up because usually I step on it. And I'm pretty straight. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty solid. And then when you want to go down, same thing. They all hit the, uh, the little lid that I made, for the top I made for it. Okay. And what's nice is uh, everything just stands here. You don't have any guy lines out. And your antenna will actually guide this out, so. To a little bit. So if your wind is blowing whichever direction you're pulling, it's gonna help anyhow. Okay. And this time I'll drop it all the way down. All right. I will pull this up. There's nothing there so far. I put my hand on here so I get this top one. And then I will just, just put it over like that. Put my hand on the end. Put the lid back on. Alright. Put the lid back on. And we're done. Pretty easy. At least we'll get a little look at this on the ground here. So there it is. Go the other way because I'm gonna put a shadow on it. And there it is, and if you look way down in here, you see the bottom one, and that's against the ground. So super easy. Hope this helps. Well, I hope this helps people, because uh, I'll tell you what, I really don't like <laughs> spending all the time to put up guy lines, and then they're in the way. People walk by and they run into them. With this, all you have to worry about is your, your ground radios, pretty much, and if they can't see a, a pole sticking up, then they're probably on their phone, not watching what they're doing, right? So hopefully this is helpful for people. Uh, pretty easy setup. So this is Chuck, KK6USY. Thank you for joining me and spending your time with me today. Be safe, 73 all, and hope to catch you on the airwaves.